People usually go into decluttering because they want to reduce their level of stress, feel happier, and more in control of their space and their lives. Sounds familiar? Well, all these things can be obtained through feng shui, the ancient Chinese art of arranging space to achieve harmony and balance in a way that will bring peace and prosperity. Today I'll show you how. Hello and welcome back to Multicultural Lingo. In this video, I'm mixing the new and the old as I'll give you some practical tips on how to declutter your home or apartment for good feng shui and create a welcoming space that attracts good vibes and yes, even money. Now before we start, there are some feng shui concepts you need to know to understand the video. If you already know the basic principles of this philosophy, or you have already watched my previous video, feel free to skip this brief introduction. Feng shui is all about enabling a good flow of qi, which in very few words is the vital energy that brings good things into your life. To do so, you need to consider different aspects. First, you want a good balance between yin and yang. Yin is the feminine energy symbolized by dark colors, soft materials, curved shapes, and open spaces, while yang is the masculine energy that resides in light colors, hard materials, geometrical shapes, and enclosed spaces. Then, feng shui incorporates five natural elements, wood, earth, metal, water, and fire that affect different areas of one's life. These elements should also be balanced and placed strategically in the various sectors of your home to let them do their things. It may sound like a lot, but it will all be clear with the examples. Okay, before we jump right in, please like this video and subscribe for more interesting content. The first tip to declutter for good feng shui is to start from the entrance of your home or apartment. In feng shui, the front door is believed to be the mouth of qi, meaning the place where this energy flow enters your home. Here is really the place to go minimalistic, and leave a clear path to let energy in. The ideal feng shui entryway doesn't have exposed railing or shoe racks. Everything should be hidden inside furniture placed left and or right to the door. Also, cluttered surfaces with keys, money, letters and other objects block the flow of qi. You should find console tables with drawers to hide these things. And by the way, you'll find the links for all the products I'm showing you in the description. Last but not least, every entryway needs a mirror, which is a water feature. But be careful. The mirror should never face the door directly. Also, avoid using boxes or tables with really sharp angles because they are bad feng shui. Now that we've cleared the entryway, it's time to tackle Xiao Ren. The Chinese expression Xiao Ren literally translates to small person, but it actually means negative people, those who forward evil or negative forces toward you and your home, like mean people, backstabbers and gossipers. This is why you must get rid of anything that resembles small people, while decluttering for good feng shui. For example, exposed shoes or slippers on the floor or on shelves are a big no-no not only in the entryway but in every other room, even if they are well placed in line. They should always be kept out of sight, stored behind doors or in practical boxes and hangers. The same goes with statuettes and small objects or paintings that depict scenes including many small people. They create disorder and block the flow of positive energy. Now it's time to decide what to keep and what to throw away, donate, gift, or recycle. First of all, broken objects and withered plants and flowers should be replaced with new ones. In feng shui, such things have already helped you by absorbing negative energy away from your home and life. There's no need to keep them any longer. Then, start by grouping all the decor items, trinkets, random knickknacks, and memorabilia together, and decide which ones you truly want to keep. If you have a big home, you can do it room by room, but if you live in an apartment, it's better to gather them all together. The key to decluttering following feng shui rules is to assess the importance of each object in your life. Are they contributing to your happiness or well-being? As Marie Kondo would say, do they spark joy? If not, it's time to let them go. But don't throw away books and gold objects because they are always good feng shui. Okay, you know what objects you want to keep, it's time to figure out the best place for each of them. The Bagua is the Feng Shui Energy Map, a tool used to analyze the energy flow and balance within a space. It consists of nine areas, set out in a grid, each representing a different aspect of your life, also called Guas. The quadrants correlate to Career North, Knowledge, Northeast, Family East, Wealth, Southeast, Fame South, Love, Southwest, New Beginnings West Travel, Northwest, Health and Balance Center. However in modern times and for those who don't want to use a compass, those sectors can be associated with a certain room of the house. You can simply align the bottom of the map with the front door of the room or home and move from there. 
Each area is then also associated with specific colors, elements, shapes, and symbols, which can energize or activate the area. This is when the objects you have previously collected and sorted out come into play. Imagine you want to enhance your career for example which is the north or entrance sector. In such case you can place here some water features such as a mirror, as already mentioned, or a black and blue decor piece. Also, metal and wood elements are compatible with water and can be introduced. If your entryway is gloomy you can also add a table lamp to bring more positive energy. Now let's say, you want to improve the southeast sector which is the one of wealth and prosperity. This is the sector of wood, and it's the best place to display your yellow and green objects. However, don't overdo it. To bring some balance, also add some water and fire elements. If it's a kitchen for example, you could go for a red vase or a dark blue painting on the wall. You can activate your relationship and love sector with some earth elements such as flowers and art depicting animals and then balance them with fire and metal elements like a picture frame or a candle. Okay, I think you got it. It's all about balance. So, we've covered some practical ways to declutter your home for good feng shui. In essence, decluttering isn't just about tidying up. It's about creating a space where positive energy can flow freely, where we can truly relax and be ourselves. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave me a message like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more language and culture content. Also let me know if you want a video about how to arrange rooms for good feng shui. Bye bye.